welcome to today's video i'm sharing with you my perfume collection in this really unique clever way okay i have grouped them in levels of intensity ingredients smell and occasion so i'm gonna start with the freshest the lightest going all the way to the deepest darkest scents that i have we have a lot to get through so let's just get started i thought about separating you know my niche designer private blends and all these things and celebrity perfumes into different categories but i ended up deciding to just mix designer niche and uh, private blends all together like all together and hey yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in them separately as affordable scents or whatever you know we'll discuss that later but let's just get into it because we're gonna be here a while all my scents i think are feminine you know some of them are unisex but these particular ones are the florals uh are the clean citruses so the pears um the jasmines the bergamons the lemon scents um lactic a lot so these are scents that i would wear when i'm going to the beach uh, when it's a sunny day and I want to smell clean and fresh and vibrant. The first one I have here is called Ruby Berries by Zara. Um, I'm trying to remove this leather thing because it's kind of tacky. This smells like ruby berries and citrus. So I love this clean scent. The next one I have is the number five Chanel, which is a popular scent. It smells really soapy when I spray it. Soapy and clean. I actually really like this. It grew on me. But it's so, so sexy, you guys. When it settles in your skin, it warms up, dries up. It smells like... Like a clean woman. And it has some, like, mask deliciousness to it as well i have become a chanel number no. five woman can you believe this the next scent i have is jasmine mazepine this is jasmine centered floral clean a little bit green i feel like this selection has scents that are kind of like this color or clear i have to be in the mood for this but it's so beautiful actually it's in the same family as chanel number no. five so that's why it's in this group okay this is iris droge it's a candied iris mm, it smells better on the person than it does in the bottle and as you can see i have used loved and abused this perfume Anybody is free to repurchase this for me. Um, don't fight over it. You know, I welcome as many bottles as possible. So if you're feeling generous. This one is Amouage Honor Woman. Another floral, floral scent. So from the bottle, it smells very floral in a way like it could be headache inducing, but on the person like it smells so good um on a woman uh, i mean it's unisex really but i love it lamp trees okay by dolce and gabbana you guys know this is kiwi grapefruit goodness it's sweet and sour and tangy at the same time this is perfect hot weather scent and Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, Intense, because that is the only way to go. Now, listen to me, though. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense has a new perfume that's out. It's sweeter. It smells more like romantic and all that. But this is unisex. This is man, woman, teenager appropriate. This and my 4711 Remix Cologne smell similar not from the bottle but sprayed on because dolce and gabbana has a lemon 
um, ingredient in there and this has as well the DNA is very very similar both citrusy clean fresh you smell like a cloud of fresh air so this perfume has been in my perfume collection for about oh I want to say over a year and since then I have you know increased my collection of perfumes so I have a lot to choose from it's a competition you know for my affections must have you know what I think in this group I will tell you which should I pick three three maybe that I would recommend the most for anybody that are most likable I'll do my best because this is gonna be hard next in this group is cloud by Ariana Grande I have worn this perfume you know I only recently bought it but I have worn this a lot um, I've had many compliments for it as well um, nobody said oh are you wearing Baccarat Rouge 540 nobody said that um, but they just said I smell so good and I also use it to layer my fragrances and it's so wonderful so you know what Mmm, soft, spicy, sweet, clean, airy goodness. This is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Listen, ugh, this is another compliment getter from females mainly. Men like it on me, but strangers don't tend to voice it. It's more females that voice that they like this on me. Males don't. I will tell you which ones males tend to voice compliments. You know, sometimes like they compliment you with their eyes or their expressions, um, which is what I get when I wear Daisy Love. But men don't voice a compliment, if that makes any sense. But women love this on me. This is my out of the shower scent. And I have sprayed this a dozen million times and it's still, still here like here you guys mm, okay nicely fresh showered clean exfoliated skin and you know the steam is coming off my skin I spray this then I put in a body oil then I spray again then I put on um, a body cream then I put on a body lotion then I spray again and that's it and I smell really clean, fresh, and sweet at the same time. This is the other 4 7 Eleven Remix Cologne. This one is a more fruity, clean. The other one's more lemony. They're both citrus, but this is more fruity citrus. The other one is more um, lemony citrus, okay? That's kind of new to my perfume collection, and I've been loving them. It's one of those ones that I will be happy to gift because it was affordable, okay? Affordable, it goes up on the top of the list of fresh, clean citrus scents that are like $15, you know? Next perfume here is Pomme d'Amour by Tutti Delicious. It has a pear and sweet and clean. Mm. Love it. I've used it a couple of times. I've actually used it to layer as well. So now I was gifted this. When I'm packing for a vacation, I take this with me because this is great on its own and it's also great layering scent. This is Gin Fizz by Lubin Paris, okay? And I keep saying I need to go back and buy more of their perfumes, but the wish list is just too long. Like it's just too long. I was thinking to myself, should I start with the cheaper scents on my wish list or start with a more expensive scents on my wish list? Because should I tackle this the same way people tackle debt? You're supposed to tackle debt, you know, start with the small debt and then finish up with the bigger debts. Maybe I should do that because the wish list is not going to end. Now, this is a clean, fizzy <laughs> cocktail drink, okay? love this in summer spring i smell like 
a sophisticated, beautiful woman. Clean, juicy, and so mysterious at the same time. <sighs> Am I going to be able to recommend only three? I don't know. No, I'm not. Let me just be honest. This is Print Temps by Maison Lancome. This is from the Maison Lancome collection. And this is another clean floral scent. Yet to go through it, but I do like it. I've been getting into my clean florals. While still on the topic of Maison Lancome perfumes, this is Oranges Bigarati's and this smells like oranges. Orange peel, the orange inside, and flowers. Heavy on orange. So, mm, it's all smelling so good. Oh, this room is gonna smell so, so good. One of my staples. Is Dolce & Gabbana the one? This is elegance, innocence. This is so beautiful. This is so pretty. If you're starting in fragrance and you like clean florals, this is it. Because it's so sweet. It's delicate. It's like, it's like drinking a, a rounded cocktail. Like it's smooth. Like you know or like a fine wine and it's like it's just smooth you know like a white wine obviously but anyway i love this this is sweet and clean this is innocence and a delicate lady with pretty hands soft hands you know she's just so nice and gentle and dainty smart but she's just so you know a breath of fresh air mm. yeah in one of my last perfume videos I spoke about Juicy Couture Noir smelling like something I can recognize but can't put my finger on now I have figured out what Juicy Noir kind of smells like from my collection it kind of smells like Trezor Midnight Rose and somehow it also smells like La Nuit Trésor. You know, same kind of feeling, vibe, and it's just, it's like a citrus deep scent. Anywho, I love this. In this collection, I wear it as more of a clean scent. So, Midnight Rose is a rose. <laughs> It's like the rose and the stem, a little bit of the stem, a little bit of greenery in there. It's quite sharp. It's a sharp rose. If you're new to roses, this is like third in line of, you know, your introduction to roses. I wouldn't start with this one because you'd be like, ugh, roses are too sharp for my nose. But this is one of the really great introductory scents to roses if you know what i mean this i have worn to the office to work and things like that and i get complimented and i have also worn it out to dinner with family and friends and got complimented so it kind of works in this collection i included delina exclusive semi new to my perfume collection i don't even want to spray any right now because i don't want any to go to waste like i don't even want to spray it in the air this smells like deliciousness like a, a turkish delight rose that's it turkish delight rose like that is so perfect like that is a perfect description of this perfume oh my goodness thank me later okay and now i have the body cream new to my perfume collection is wild paradise by you ever 
and Passionate Rose by You Ever. These are both auto perfumes. They're both clean florals. Love them. I have already worn them multiple times this week. But you can't tell. Anyway, I really like them. Which one of the two do I like? That's the question. Okay, okay. This one smells a bit peachy. Let's try Wild Paradise now. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. It's hard to know which one I like better. I have both, so I don't have to choose between them. Next up is Coco by Chanel. I have a friend who loves this. This is spicy clean, spicy clean, and I think this is gonna would be my mom's favorite. She would prefer this over the Coco Mademoiselle. It's just cause. Anyway, I need to buy her a bottle. Um, love this elegance clean and staple signature scent so you guys know that i did the unboxing of orientica scents from their luxury collection and this is royal amber and royal amber i have worn and had compliments from strangers Mm, clean warm at the same time uh, pineapple juiciness as well like it's so and it's elegant and I love the bottle love the bottle like royalty <laughs> okay this is a moage sunshine woman this is summer hat summer dress summer evening type of scent. I feel like Amour scents are unique enough to stand out, but also very um, classy and elegant enough to be signature scents, to be everyday scents. And the quality is definitely there. You don't need to spray a whole lot. Don't bathe in this stuff, okay? Because it's potent. And so we love to have some Amour perfumes in our perfume collection it's it's luxury in a bottle okay love it this is versace dylan blue i i have a long way to go it's like i have sprayed it so many times i had this scent in my car but um i decided to give it a break because i don't want the quality to be compromised This is good. For a while there, I didn't quite like it anymore, but I need this. Well, I have it in my life, but I need to keep it in my life. Um, it's a very clean citrus scent. It's perfect. It's got apple in there, lemon as well. It's a juicy citrus. Yeah, it's like green apples. It tastes like green. It smells like green apples. It smells like the taste of green apples, you know? So love this. Speaking of fruit in that clean sense, this is Delicious by DKNY. Delicious Delights, that's what it's called. This has pear among other scents. I like how it opens. It's kind of slick like that. And this scent was introduced to me by Joanna and I have been wearing it. I am a bit careful not to overspray this because I want to keep it in my life for a bit longer. I have mixed these two just because I feel like this topped onto this will make this shine more and have more projection. You know, it, it will enhance the ingredients that are in here because I feel like this one has similar ingredients to this. This is Electric by Britney Spears semi new to my collection i have used it i sprayed it layered with something or other and it's a great layering scent as well it's good day and night my friend who likes coco noir would also like electric so i'm going to get her electric and see how she feels about it 
but I know she will probably be wearing it as an everyday um, layering scent. Daydream by Miss O. Oh, oh, this is Daydream by Miss So. I unboxed this in my recent unboxing perfume video. I enjoy this. This is another sweet, clean scent. Love it. This is Shalimar. EDP. I love souffle. I love all the other flankers. Trust me. But when I think about owning all of them, buying all of them, like seriously, they need to stop giving us so many good options because it's hard to keep up. Now, I love this. This goes in the same group as the Nashana no. Number 5, the Coco Noir. I thoroughly enjoy this. Actually, I need to wear this soon. Vintage elegance. Classic elegance. Yeah, vintage is not always a nice word to use and throw around everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes it just means old, but no, we're meaning classic old, you know? Like, and classy. Classy, classic old. Yeah, that, that's what we talk about when we're talking vintage on this channel. This is Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. Coconut goodness. Yellow beach sand vibes. And lastly in this group, because that was a mouthful. That's over 25 bottles. This is Sweet Like Candy by Ariana. And you would think this is some heavy, you know, dance candy smelling no it's actually a clean candy scent you know this is not like fancy by jessica simpson no this is more lighter it's a little bit like electric um, by britney spears it's perfect for day and night mm, imagine you just had a shower you're smelling clean and you spray this oh, oh, oh. Do you know the other thing that I like about myself is like I am figuring out how to spray my scents at the right times at the right moments to really make the most of them to really bring out the best of them do you know what I mean because if you wear a scent inappropriately it loses its charm that's a no-no we're moving on to the next group and the next group of perfumes, I will place them on this side. And they will be slightly denser than this collection. They will have more musky scents. Mm, some of my favorites are musky perfumes. So I like heavy on musk. I'm so excited. So on to the next group. In this clean daytime scents group, um, I will include the scents that I unboxed in my previous video um, that were $5 and below. So if you have not watched that video, go ahead and do that. And we'll move on to this next group is my sexy daytime scents. So these have more mask and more spice and warmth to them. They're the ones that I tend to gravitate towards when I'm trying to be a little bit extra. Not that these are not sexy, but the mask in here is just a little bit more pronounced, okay? So, let's get started. My first fragrance here is C by Giorgio Armani. You know, this is a floral mask. It's so beautiful and boozy mm, and delicious in one way or another, you know? So, I really like this for daytime. Next up is Floor Mask by Narciso Rodriguez for her. This is a rose, a bright musky rose. Yeah. It smells much better on the person than it does in the bottle. I've been wearing it a lot to work and functions that are daytime functions. So Next, you know, one of my favorites is this is her by Zadig and Voltaire. Creamy sandalwood. Creamy sandalwood. This is another bottle you are most welcome to purchase for me. Because I need backups upon backups. This will be in my life forever. I love this. I wear this during the day 
and I also wear it at night especially now when it when it's cool but bright and sunny this is perfect because it's creamy but it's not dark it's bright as well so it's clean and musky and creamy and woody and sandalwood yumminess this is always red by elizabeth arden a rose mask love this this is deeper a little bit darker but still very appropriate for daytime it's signature scent worthy but it's definitely a sexy signature scent okay it smells more expensive than what it actually was this is super affordable if you don't have this in your life and you love rose masks what are you doing it is only appropriate to mention a Cesar rodriguez pudre um this is like a powdery mask i think that's my favorite type of mask powdery clean oh give it a chance i love this and this is a 150 ml bottle i actually am close to finishing it this is baccarat rouge 540 edp by maison francis kirk jean paris this is an airy sweet spicy beautiful scent i love it for daytime nighttime or whatever but lately i've been wearing it daytime because it projects it leaves a trail like long after you've left they're like who was that this is a masky floral but bone number nine is so unique in their creations I keep saying I want to buy more of their perfumes, but I haven't gotten around to it. If you guys have any um, recommendations for Bond Number no. 9 perfumes, like the best in their range, then let me know in the comment section because I am ready. I am ready and ripe to purchase more. I really do enjoy them. So this is a floral, signature scent worthy. I have times when I feel like it could be headache inducing, but it's such a classy clean floral scent this what do i say a very bougie type of woman moschino gold fresh ended up in this range because of its musky oh this is it surprises me every time this is a wonderful clean scent, but the mask in it, and there's something in there, I think it's like a caramel vibe that makes it slightly deeper than that collection right there. But I love it. It will fit in both, both groups, but I chose to put it in this group because I tend to wear it when I'm trying to be a little bit more sexy and I use it for layering now. I don't just normally wear it by itself just because I feel like wearing more than two perfumes at a time because I can't pick, I can't decide. So yeah, it's really nice. Next up are my Pink Sugar by Aquilina Fragrances. This is Red Velvet. This is Pink Sugar, the original. And this is Berry Blast. And they're all very pretty. I am yet to really wear Berry Blast. I think I've only worn it twice. As a layering scent I love red velvet and I love the original these are staples because they make great sweet layering scents for my fragrances okay juicy couture gold couture I enjoy this as caramel goodness and I wear it during the day when I'm trying to be daytime sexy appropriate you know can sexy and appropriate go in the same sentence we'll leave it like that so I love this. How many times have I said, oh, flower bomb, and then I didn't show the bottle. This time, I have my bottle here. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I enjoy this oriental floral scent. The mask in here is so beautiful. I don't want to run out. I don't want to run out, and I don't want to have to repurchase. I'm just hanging on by a string, you know? love this next one here is coco mademoiselle intense another fragrance that is hanging by the string 
like do you guys have fragrances like that that you just love and adore but you just can't bring yourself to repurchase because you feel like like there's so much more to buy but i still want to have that scent in my life like i wish i could just refill a bottle with my mind you know so this is one of those perfumes why a 50 mil like why next time please purchase 100 mil not 50 mils actually this was handy in putting in my handbag but you see how tiny this looks compared to a 100 mil bottle look at this 100 mil 50 mil 50 mil 200 mil literally three times more it is a bargain to buy bigger bottles than the smaller ones i feel like if you're already ready to buy and it's something you know you love just get the big bottle just get the big bottle you know it's more economical next up uh guess sense so this one is seductive noir i also have seductive red these are actually my daytime scents when i'm trying to be like sexy you know you would think i wear this at night but i tend to wear it during the day um love both of them beautiful they're reminiscent of the coco noir by chanel and this one is reminiscent of learn to d by givenchy among other perfect like this is cherry goodness you know this is yummy um there's a fruit in there was it cherry probably but it's really nice this is perfect by mark jacobs this is a floral citrus scent i like to layer this with my pink sugar perfumes by aquilina because it's just too floral and it could be headache inducing for me i hear the intense version is much better so go try that one but now that i have this one i'll make the most of it next up is a wonder rose from zara Ooh, this is pretty okay at first like i always liked it but mm, it smells much muskier than i thought that's why it's in this group i really enjoy it it's like a coco mademoiselle um lighter version of the intense coco mademoiselle it's very nice i also have gourmand addict and this is not as intense as flower bomb by victor and rolf but you know it's kind of similar gourmand addict is reminiscent of flower bomb by victor and rolf so yeah love it as you can see like this is a lighter juice and this is a darker juice and they smell similar but this is more intense than this you know the next scent is jimmy choo by jimmy choo this is a like a fresh oriental scent i enjoy this i do it was a signature scent for a while and it's that scent that i used to carry in my bag or when i don't know what to wear i'll just spray this yeah so we're getting into the more deeper sexier mysterious scents i'm so excited okay so this next group i wear for nighttime when you know it could be a date it could be a dinner it could be a night out you know river cruising or walking by the river just you know sightseeing just having fun dressed up a little bit and yeah so i have dior addict um, vanilla creamy goodness sexy love it next up I have amber rouge by orientica this almost smells smoky you know like skin sexy friction mmm almost like cherry like it's a baccarat rouge extract type of dupe in the initial spray so yes i have fancy by jessica simpson because this one is like a deep like a dense caramel so i like to wear it at night if i'm wearing it by itself i mean 
I wear it during the day, but lately I wear it more as a nighttime sweet scent. If I want to wear it during the day, I layer it with a more citrus scent. Hmm. This is Lyra. Creme brulee, dessert, lemony custard dessert perfume, okay? This is Angel Muse by Mugler. This is a hazelnut perfume. Smells like hazelnut and vanilla, so it's really good. Love it for nighttime, cold weather type of vibe or situation. This is... Decadence by Marc Jacobs. Why am I not getting through this bottle? Wow. What does that smell like? Oh, this is good. It always gets me every time I spray it. So love it for nighttime. Um, boss vibes, classy vibes, love it. Miami Glow by JLo. Dense beach vibes. I wear it at night just to confuse people. You know, <laughs> I really like it. It's dense as well. Alien by Mugler. Mmm. This is one of the fragrances my mom loves in my collection. She likes odd spicy scents. This is balsamic. It's white floral. It's lovely, okay? It's actually good. And she got through it. Like, she had it for like two days and this is the damage she did. And she reluctantly gave it back to me. I just said... Sometimes I want to talk about my perfume so she can always wear it if she wants it. So yeah. Roses Barbaranza. We love a good rum, vanilla, blood orange scent. This is so good. One of my favorites now. Yes. In this same group of perfumes is Coco Noir. I put this in this group because this is also my wonderful nighttime scent. I feel like it shines the most when I wear it at night for me you know um it's a sexy deep rose and it gives me that purple rose vision when I think of this perfume you know that purple dark rose like and it's blossoming it's like yeah like that Baccarat Rouge 540 Egg Strite and this is by Maison Francis Kirkshawn Paris Egg Strite obviously higher in concentration and oils i'm getting through it sometimes i use it like as a signature scent love it portrait of a lady now listen you guys i almost bought the perfumes by dominic ropian that are on my wish list like i almost bought them all at once and something made me i was like maybe just wait um I need to wear this a lot more and I've been wearing it. Portrait of a lady is this rose. Like, I always say it's a mature rose, but this is so good. This is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. And you might not get it the first time you try it, but as you wear it, it becomes like a staple, like a a love 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 you know i feel like if i ever finish the bottle i would repurchase this perfume the more you wear it the more you love it okay la nuit trésor is a beautiful nighttime scent i have used it on dating occasions as well i'm getting through the perfume now i wear it um more casually on dates does that make any sense like it doesn't have to be like a really formal date for me to wear it but it has to be like a nighttime situation. So I really enjoy this. And lastly in this group, definitely not least, this is Nuit by Zara. Have I actually worn this? Yes. Yes, but I wore it for a walk. <laughs> I was just going for a beach walk at night and I wore this. You can't tell, but it's, you know i did spray a big chunk out of it so yes i enjoyed this that's it for that group the next group are more like my winter scents my winter sexy scents sometimes i will wear them in autumn 
but I tend to wear them in winter. And they're not even the last group. They're not as deep as the last group. This is kind of like getting into winter vibes, you know? So let's get started. This is Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Love. This is a wonderful, sweet, musky, but something's burning, something smoky, something is just blanketing around you. I just really like this in autumn or winter that bipolar weather like in between confused it's cold and windy but sunny outside it's just so weird that's what i wear this is orientica oud saffron and oh my goodness i have worn this a lot lately ever since i got it i even surprised myself and wore it during the day yes yes i did indoors too but it was cold because it's like winter now so like it's cold and i wore this during the day even though i knew i would be indoors and i did get compliments for it surprise surprise so yeah i love this oud satin mood i feel guilty when i wear this to non-special occasions but i really like it the same instant I can wear Oud Saffron is the same instant I can wear Oud Satin Mood. They're like family, you know? They're, they're like sisters, cousins. Very, very close family. Musk Rovageur. Have not worn it lately. Yes. Mm. No, I really like this. The last time I wore it, I can remember, not because it was such a long time ago, but I just can't remember what occasion it was. But yes, it's definitely for a cooler weather for me. That's just me. Intense Cafe, and it sounds like it's intense, but this perfume by Montal Paris is actually not as intense as the name. It's like daytime, autumn or winter for me, daytime. So love it. Now this perfume is new to my collection. This is Chagaf Oud Swiss Arabian. This smells like Oud Bouquet, slightly lighter, slightly sweeter, but definitely an Oud Bouquet dupe. Almost 100%, like 95%. This is Journey by Amouage. This is so unique, lactonic, all those great things. The ingredients here are odd. If you have not seen my review of this, I will link some perfume videos in the description of when I spoke about this perfume because I think it's worth watching those videos. I describe the ingredients, the scent, and the you know top notes, middle notes, base notes, and it's always so exciting for me to figure out how it all came together and what why why i had to pay the big bucks to get it you know what i mean like the journey of the perfume oh wait <laughs> amage journey it's lovely in this group is velvet rose and oud by Jo Malone. You guys know that i'm only into their cologne intenses. My mom has the other collection not the intense just the colognes and she likes them um she wears them as like everyday clean scents but i enjoy the intense ones this is rose and oud done well love it this is lautre oud woody smoky no sweetness in there really no sweetness the reformulated version is not as intense as the original of lautre oud so i enjoy these during the day in colder months oh if you know me you know i enjoy nirvana black by elizabeth and james this is it right here this is almost my signature scent in cooler weather because it's not dark it's not intense it's still you know what is it what's the word like it's like in the middle it's not too heavy um i just really like this i like this so much last in this group but definitely 
definitely not list because this this perfume is not like in any particular order none of them are this is elixir de Mave by hermes this is a beautiful ember scent for autumn mainly and winter months as well for some women it can be a um, hot weather scent but not for me not for me no 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 this is autumn winter weather scent now that i've shared with you my cooler days cooler weather cooler seasons type of daytime scents i will move on to my deepest darkest scents that i only wear when i'm feeling some kind of way <laughs> like so without further ado let's get right into the group i'm so excited about this group because i rarely get to speak about this group actually first up i have by the fireplace by replica i always do this replica is the collection of the fragrances the company is by maison Margiela, paris and the perfume name is by the fireplace now this one smells like fire and marshmallows i went shopping with my mom the other day and i got her to try all the replica scents the replica line and she loved them i was almost surprised but not quite i got her to try fireplace and it was really good she liked it she actually because i was like oh mom i have this perfume it's called fire the by the fireplace and it smells like fire and like marshmallows and she was like why would you want to smell like fire so i got her to try it on the skin it smells like fire and marshmallows so it's so nice it's actually nice and i wore it the other day actually because it's cooler now i wore it during the day and the sweater i was wearing still smells like the fragrance so i love the bubble bath i love oh i was speaking to m in the comment section and she told me some of the scents that she has um from replica so yes girl yes 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 <laughs> next scent is by alien this is alien majesture right here this is intense actually it's not that intense mm, this is pretty <laughs> this is pretty but it's still cool weather for me oh my goodness you know what when i start to put my cool weather scents i'm gonna put this at the forefront this is nice actually i'm starting to appreciate it more and more love it black orchid by tom ford okay Hmm, licorice goodness and it's not quite like licorice but it has licorice in it and you can tell that it's trying to smell like licorice but better version of a licorice smelling perfume i enjoy this actually this is another favorite in the cooler weather and i had to warm up to this because back then i was not in used to intense scents so and this smells more masculine you know than feminine oud save the queen oud scents so atkinson's has so many wonderful perfumes too and they are actually affordable when we're talking luxury they're actually well priced yeah there is oud save the king but i don't have that one this is um, Essence number 10, Amande Tonka. That's the name of the perfume by Ellie Saab. Ellie Saab has a good um, collection of clean women's scent as well. But this is a nice Tonka bean type of perfume. Mm, it looks like a wine. But anyway, I enjoy this in the cooler weather. This was recommended to me by a subscriber. Thank you. Santal Royale. Oh, I wore this one time. This is a really nice scent, okay? If you like these types of perfumes, but I wore this one time and my mom was like, why do you smell like you have not showered? Why do you smell odorous? So it's not for everybody, clearly. 
And my mom makes it no secret. Whatever she's feeling, she tells you. Like, especially we know with family and stuff. She is very brutally honest and she does not like this. And I don't even think, if my dad smelled me that day, he would not like this on me either. But I like it. There are a group of other people in my life that enjoy this scent on me, so we won't, we won't mind those ones. We will hang out with the ones that like it, okay? I won't be wearing Santa Royale on a mother date situation because no. This is Tom Ford Noir. Love this for cooler weather. This is more in the masculine side of perfumes, but some masculine scents just make a woman smell sexy. Sexy. If she's dressed sexy or even when she's dressed feminine and then her perfume, you know, is like the opposite of the way she's looking and it's just like mysterious and, you know, it's wild. This is Watten by Amphis. Middle Eastern Perfuma. All I need to do is just hang around people who can really appreciate these scents. This is like dinner at the golf course type of scent. This is like luxury Middle Eastern smelling. I like this a lot actually. The Bewitching Yasmin is... <laughs> Yasmin's looking for a husband, okay? so. She's bringing out her best guns. Like she's really doing the most. There's a spice balsamic element to this. This is nice. And it's almost peppery as well. Like it's so intriguing. Cooler weather. And you know, this is kind of semi new to my collection. This is why it has not been used and loved as much, but it is cooler weather now. So she's going to get some attention love her now this is lautre oud or the parfum this is the original this is like oud wood goodness okay if you're into middle eastern ouds look at this bottle look at this bottle okay i feel like it's a classic in this perfume collection perfume wardrobe I enjoy this. Lancome, Maison Lancome since 1935. Talk about historic. Next one, lastly but not least, okay, this is Oud Bouquet. This is an auto perform. I always have to double check because I used to feel like these scents are so strong and intense, but they're not that bad. There's worse in the world. This is Oud Sweet Goodness love this love this still have plenty to go and i'm using it sparingly anyway but now that i have the swiss arabian shagaf oud which smells similar to this we made it to the end of my perfume collection video oh my goodness there's been plenty plenty of fragrances that we love and enjoy and look We've gone from daytime perfume collection to like nighttime perfume collection. We went to cooler weather perfumes. We went to um, heat, hot, daytime types of perfumes. I feel like we've covered it all. I have about close to a hundred, like a hundred bottles. Um, there are some perfumes I did not include that I recently purchased because, you know, I just want to trial and try them out and wear them and enjoy them a little bit more.